It doesn't age. It doesn't grow up. It can regrow its brain heart and even its spine over and over again. With a smile on its face and secrets in its DNA, this creature defies science evolution and even death itself. You've never met anything like the axolotl. Scientifically known as Ambistoma mexicanum, the axolotl is a species of amphibian unlike almost any other. Native only to the remnants of Mexico's ancient lake systems, particularly Lake Zocimilco, the axolotl is a biological paradox. While most amphibians undergo metamorphosis, growing legs, shedding gills, and transitioning from aquatic to terrestrial life, the axolotl resists this change. It retains its larval features into adulthood, a phenomenon known as neoteny. This lifelong youthfulness isn't a deformity, it's a strategy, and it's worked for thousands of years. The axolotl's body is soft and elongated, typically ranging from 6 to 12 inches in length. Its skin is smooth and slightly translucent, often revealing delicate blood vessels beneath. Wild axolotls are dark in color, mottled with shades of brown and black to help them camouflage among mud and aquatic plants. However, in captivity, selective breeding has produced a variety of color morphs, albino, golden leucistic, pale pink with black eyes, and even glow-in-the-dark varieties altered through genetic engineering. Its most iconic features are the external gills, three feathery appendages on each side of the head, which are rich with capillaries and serve as the primary means of respiration. Though axolotls do possess rudimentary lungs and can gulp air from the surface, they are fully aquatic and rarely leave the water. Their broad, flat heads, lidless eyes, and subtle smiles give them an expression that is both alien and endearing. But what makes the axolotl truly exceptional isn't its appearance, it's its biology. The axolotl is a master of regeneration. Lose a leg. It grows back. Lose the tail. Same story. Incredibly, it can regenerate parts of its spinal cord, its heart and even brain tissue with precision and functionality. And it does this not as an emergency adaptation, but as a routine biological function. While many animals exhibit some level of regenerative capacity, starfish lizards, even deer antlers, none come close to the axolotl's complexity and consistency. This ability has made the axolotl a superstar in the world of biomedical research. Scientists study its genetic makeup to uncover how its cells manage to regrow complex structures without forming scars or tumors. It has become a vital model for regenerative medicine cancer research and developmental biology. The hope is that by unlocking the axolotl's secrets, we may one day apply them to human healing. Repairing damaged organs, treating spinal injuries, even reversing the effects of aging. Genetically, the axolotl is just as fascinating. Its genome is enormous, about 10 times the size of the human genome. Within this vast genetic library are the instructions not just for regeneration, but for development, immune modulation, and tissue patterning. Mapping and decoding this genome has opened new doors in genetic engineering and epigenetics. The axolotl's neoteny, its refusal to undergo metamorphosis, is controlled by its endocrine system, specifically thyroid hormone levels. In the wild, the axolotl remains aquatic for life. However, scientists have found that administering thyroid hormones in a laboratory setting can induce metamorphosis, prompting the axolotl to absorb its gills, develop lungs, and adopt a more terrestrial form. But this transformation is stressful and often shortens the animal's lifespan. Evolution has clearly favored the aquatic gilled version and with good reason. In its natural environment, the axolotl's form is perfectly suited to survival. Behaviorally, axolotls are solitary and slow moving. They are carnivorous feeding on worms, insects, small fish and crustaceans. Using suction feeding, they draw prey into their mouths with a sudden rush of water. Though they seem peaceful, axolotls can be opportunistic, especially when housed together in captivity. Juveniles in particular may bite at each other's limbs, though thanks to their regenerative powers, such injuries rarely result in lasting harm. They are mostly active at night, 
and have poor eyesight, relying instead on smell and the detection of water movement to find food. Despite their relatively simple nervous systems, axolotls are capable of learning patterns, for example, associating movement outside the tank with feeding. Their brains are basic, but surprisingly adaptable, another trait that makes them compelling subjects for research. Unfortunately, the axolotl's natural habitat has become one of its greatest threats. Once thriving in the extensive waterways of the Valley of Mexico, the species now exists only in isolated pockets of Lake Xochimilco. Urban expansion, pollution, water diversion, and the introduction of invasive species such as carp and tilapia have devastated the ecosystem. These fish compete for food and eat axolotl eggs and juveniles. The result is catastrophic wild axolotls are now critically endangered, with some estimates placing their numbers in the low hundreds. Conservation efforts are ongoing, but face steep challenges. Initiatives include breeding programs in captivity habitat restoration projects in the canals of Xochimilco and public awareness campaigns. Mexican scientists and international partners have constructed artificial refugees, floating islands, and vegetation zones to provide safe spaces for wild populations. While captive axolotls are thriving in labs and aquariums around the world, preserving the wild population is essential. Without it, the species may survive biologically, but lose its ecological and evolutionary context. Culturally, the axolotl holds a unique place in Mexican history and mythology. Its name derives from Nahuatl, the language of the Aztecs. Xolotl was a deity associated with death transformation and lightning, a god who, according to legend, transformed into an axolotl to escape sacrifice. Today, the axolotl is not just a scientific curiosity, but a national symbol. It appears in artwork folklore currency and popular media from Pokemon characters to educational cartoons. This blend of myth biology and symbolism gives the axolotl a cultural weight that few animals possess. Yet for all its fame, the axolotl remains mysterious. Every answer science uncovers seems to lead to new questions. How does it avoid cancer when regenerating? Why does its immune system allow such dramatic rebuilding? How can it maintain youthful features without degrading over time? And perhaps most importantly, can humans learn from it? The axolotl is not just an animal. It is a biological marvel, an evolutionary outlier, and a medical frontier. Its smile is not just a quirk of anatomy. It is an invitation to explore, to question, and to marvel at the complexity of life. Whether floating silently in a murky canal or gliding gracefully in a laboratory tank, the axolotl embodies the strange, beautiful intersection of science, mystery, and myth.